guys, welcome back. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing a review, try on, and comparison of the different bras by True Kind. So if you wanna hear my thoughts on this company, kind of what they have available, and my thoughts on it, then just keep watching. <music> So on this channel, I've done a handful of different bra reviews. I've tried out Third Love, I've tried out Harper Wild, NYX, and a little while ago, a new company that I had never heard of reached out to me called True Kind. Initially, I was a little skeptical because I had never heard of this company, but I looked at their website and I was really intrigued because what they're offering is so much more affordable than these other companies. So I was like, okay, worth trying out because if these are a good option, then they could be a viable alternative to a lot of those other more expensive, trendy brands. So they offered to send me three of their bras to try. They also offered to sponsor this video, so thank you to them for that. And yeah, let's get into it. So before I get too far into talking about True Kind specifically, let me just tell you a little bit about kind of like my own situation. So for me, I'd normally be either between like a 36A and a 34B. I would say some of the biggest problems I run into is having like gaping um, with traditional sized bras. I, and then, you know, I'm someone, I work from home. So having something that's really comfortable is quite important to me. So now let me tell you a little bit more about the three different bras they have and kind of how, what I saw are were the biggest differences between them. So hopefully if you were looking at their website and you're wondering like what the differences are, this will help you out. So let me put on my glasses because I'm, I'm going to be reading my notes here. Okay. So let's get into it. So the first bra that they sent me was the True Kind Everyday Throw On Wireless Bralette. So when it comes to the sizing of the three bras I tried, I tried to size small. As I said, I'm kind of between a 36A and a 34B, which kind of bordered between a small and a medium. When I initially tried the bras on, I'm going to be honest, I thought that they were too small. I was like, I feel like I wish I should have sized up on these. However, the more I wore them, I was like, these actually are super, super comfortable because they do have a lot of stretch. And I found that I actually kind of liked the more like supportive fits. So this one, I have to say, was probably my favorite of the three. What I really liked about it is there's, it's wireless, there's no clasps. So in the back, you don't have like the hook and eye closure. It's just completely seamless on all sides. This one I would say was also the most like flexible or stretchy or lightweight, I guess you could say. I don't want to say like it was the least supportive because personally I found all three of these bras very, very supportive. Like I think I would probably work out in any of the three of them. Again, I have a pretty small chest, so I don't really need a lot of support, but you know, this I would say is the lowest amount of compression and support of all of them, but still more than I'm, I'm used to for just my regular bras. So it wasn't, it still had kind of a balance between having a nice shape. It still has cups. It gives you like a little bit of a shape, which I did really like, um, especially for someone that is on the smaller side. So I liked that. The only thing to keep in mind that you'll definitely want to consider with this bra, as well as the two others I'm going to talk about, is the neckline is relatively high and the straps are relatively thick. Like you don't have the dip in the center like you would normally have it of a normal bra. So just keep that in mind that it may work best for outfits where you have a higher neckline. If you just keep that in mind. So next let's talk about the next bra I tried, which is a True Kind Daily Comfort Wireless Shaper Bra. And I would say the main difference, at least from my opinion, from the bralette versus the shaper bra is the bralette is a little bit more of a stretchy material and the shaper bra is a little bit more of a less stretchy material. However, to compensate for that, they do have the hook and eye closure for the shaper bra. I think the shaper bra also was just a little bit more shapely, if you know what I mean. Like I feel like it was just maybe a little bit more padding. It was just like a little bit more, um, I guess, focused on giving you like a nice shape. At least that's kind of how I saw it. So those are kind of the main differences. One thing that I really, really liked and appreciated about the, the shaper bra is they give you a little band extender that comes with the bra. Personally, I have never seen this, but it was super, super appreciated because as I said, I was kind of in between sizes. So I really liked that I could kind of size up the band while keeping the cup size the same. I keep a small cup size, but still have a little bit more you know, room to breathe, if you will, with the band. So I got it to fit absolutely perfectly. I did make use of that extender and make it even more comfortable than it already was. So I did really like that. The only thing to keep in mind in terms of the fit is, again, this one does have a little bit of a higher neckline compared to 
other kind of standard bras and the the straps are a little bit thicker so just keep that in mind depending on what you're wearing it with but i think for anything that you have a higher neckline or just like casual where you don't care if people like see your bra straps i think this is a really good option for that okay and then the final bra that i tried out was the true kind reactive sports bra and this bra of the three i would say was the most supportive for a few reasons i feel like number one it had the most compression um kind of in the material and then kind of the most snug fits and then it also the the shape of it was more supportive because it had a the racer back in the back as well as a little bit of a higher neckline so it really kind of just like kept everything nice and secure. Now, as I said, for me personally, like I would probably wear any three of these as a sports bra because I think they all had enough support and comfort. And I felt like all of them would kind of stay in place for working out. So personally, I'd wear any of these as a sports bra, but the one that was actually the sports bra definitely has the most compression. And I would say is most suitable if you are looking for a lot of support. Now the sports bra, I would say is the one where if you are between sizes and you're not sure of which one to get, I would probably recommend sizing up and trying out a, like the bigger size if you're between sizes, just because it does have the most compression. So it's a, I would say it's the least forgiving in terms of the size discrepancy if you are between sizes, but you know, that's just my opinion. However, just so you know, if you do choose the wrong size and you do want to exchange, they do have a um, buy risk free guarantee. So they do say that they have free exchanges and no hassle returns. So yeah, that's kind of the comparison of the three that they have available. So if you're on the website, and you're not really sure which one looks right to you or which one you're interested in trying out. Hopefully you find this comparison helpful. Now to my final conclusions of the True Kind bras, my final kind of thoughts about them. So I think if you're looking for something that is more affordable than a lot of these trendy companies out there, I think the True Kind bras are really a good option. And I think if you're looking for something that's a little bit kind of a cross between a sports bra and a regular bra, I think these are just what you're looking for. For me personally, I think I will get a lot of use out of them just because they're a really good, comfortable, everyday kind of bra. So yeah, that's it. Hopefully you found this video helpful um, and you found the comparison between the three styles helpful as well if you are thinking about purchasing from this company. And that's it. Bye guys.